Mark Anthony Mendoza. It's been quite a year for us. We've been talking and dreaming about this day for a very long time. Today is a reminder of how blessed we are to be surrounded by all of our loved ones. The Lord brought, us, brought you to me in the most unexpected time of my life. I'm thankful for your persistence and reassuring me that it's not a bad thing to fall in love with you. I loved back at it again. Who would have thought that we would be standing here again today? Luckily, you haven't ran away yet, so I would call that a win. With all the changing seasons and craziness in the world, one thing that has remained consistent is you having you in my life. Mark and Katrina, you two are really in love, and you've invited us all here to share in the beginning of your lifelong commitment to each other. And these two, they're not getting married in a cave with nobody around. They want each one of you to be part of their lives, to grow with them, to pray for them, and to keep them accountable to the vows of love that, they're, that they are making today. It's a beautiful day to praise the name of the Lord. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow is not promised, but this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's sing and make music from our heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's Ephesians 5. Um, and I claim that for your wedding day. Thank you. Love you. You are so loving, patient, and logical. What she does for me, I know you do the same, and much more. Thank you for letting us FaceTime for hours and talk about the most random things. I know you eavesdrop, and you know you tell Katrina how weird our conversations are, but thank you for borrowing her for three hours at a time. I remember the summer, we were just kids living in a dream. I'm so happy and honored to stand alongside you through the most beautiful day of your life. To Mark, thank you. Thank you for loving Beth the way that you do. It truly shows through the way she looks at you, speaks about you, and it will continue to shine through your marriage. Make sure to put more work in the kitchen though, okay? <laughs> Just don't burn anything. It's our time. Katrina, today is the big day, or I guess the second big day. <laughs> There's a lot I could say right now, but the most important one is thank you. Thank you for doing as much as you have done with planning and organizing the wedding. I don't say enough, but I appreciate honestly all you've done so far. I know you will be nervous, not for the day, but just that everything goes smoothly. <laughs> Happy wedding day. What a crazy 
and fun year we've had. Who would have thought that we would be here about to get married again? <laughs> A pandemic later, we're finally getting the wedding we've dreamt and waited for. I'm so grateful for your love and patience throughout this wedding planning journey. Cheers to many more years together. Let's have a great time. I promise to take it easy, take it all in, and not stress. This is our day. It's time to celebrate and show everyone the love we have for each other. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you down the aisle. Love, Strawberry. Today, I want you to take a deep breath and just be in the moment. Today is our day, and I want us to enjoy it to its fullest with friends and family that we love. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle. Mark Mendoza. I met Mark when we were both little kids and we grew up together. There are endless memories and stories. And I can share, but that'll bore all, you, all of you, and I could share that for another time. Uh, but you see, we aren't really related by blood. Uh, I didn't go to the same school with him. We had our own sets of friends. We had our, we're actually very different people. Uh, we have different per interests. We have different personalities and perspectives. But through all those differences we have, I am convinced that different people bring out different sides of you. Our differences is what makes our relationship unique and powerful. And that makes me proud to call on my brother from another mother. Spires, every time I see you. This decision that you're making today will affect every other decision in your entire life moving forward. Today, you two are going to be establishing a covenant before God as you exchange vows and commit your lives to one another. And I'm very excited that we all get to be here as you begin this very special journey together. It's really going to be a great day that you two will never forget. So let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Come and strike up the choir. Throw open all the doors. It's hard to find. Marriage is God's idea. He ordained you, it. God intended man to leave his father and mother and be united mind. with his wife and the, for the two to become but one. So just think of the smile that this wonder. puts on God's face. Winter he couldn't be happier that you, Mark, and you, Katrina, are entering this God-honoring act of marriage where you vow your love side. to each other and commit your lives to one another forever. So let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Come on and strike up the choir. Throw open all the doors. Oh, I look low and high, and I've never been so sure. walk into and I'm so glad that Mark has brought you into his life. He really is lucky to have you. She's sweet, caring, and really is a good person both inside and out. I think that's why they're so perfect for each other. They're genuinely the two nicest and kind-hearted people that you'll meet and I think everyone will agree with that. I'm happy for the both of you and it's amazing to see you two bring so much joy to one another. 
Um, in a few days, you two will already be officially married for a year. Um, so with that, let's raise our glasses and toast to Mark and Katrina uh, for their upcoming anniversary and uh, many more to come. Cheers. isn't just the end of the story like in Dis in every Disney movie it's just the start and there's a lot of work that comes along with being married it also confirmed that you are the one that I want to spend forever with uh, Katrina I promise to hold you tight when things get rough to be there for you in your time of need even if I'm the cause of your headache I promise to build a Christ-centered home for us and for our future children keep you accountable, to choose you every day, to make breakfast for you, to pick up your socks when they're lying around the house, um, and walk in faith in you, <laughs> with you. <laughs> God is so good. I love you. great pleasure and great joy and great honor that I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Katrina Mendoza. I remember when it hit me, you were 19 bright eyes, big dreams, I felt the blood rush to my heart. I knew that this could be the start of something like you see in movies The making of our story So I got down on my knee And I told you honestly Baby, I don't know where we're going But we're going together We're going together that marriage is going to be easy but I can promise that through each triumph and each downfall that the beauty of marriage is experiencing it together as one Bess and Mark I love you so much I wish you both infinite love happiness joy and prosperity let's raise our glasses to the newlyweds here's to this new chapter in your life and may God bless you in every aspect of your marriage. Cheers. I am just so pleased. Everything is just so perfect. And you you both being here, just, just seeing you guys, it makes me hopeful for the future. Because with everything that's happening right now, it's, there's, it's just nice to see some good in a time of bad. 
So I know everyone had some really nice toast. Mark, don't hate me for this, but I wanted to share something that I've used that should be of good advice for you. Okay. So I'd like to raise glasses for everyone here today, just to finish off what I'm trying to say today. Here's to love. Here's to honor. If you can't come in her, come on her. Cheers. But we're going together. We're going together. compassionate. Look for the best in one another. When your partner does something that doesn't make sense or something that you don't understand, a gap is created. You have the choice every day to fill that gap with doubt and blame, or you can fill that gap with trust and love. My challenge to you is to always choose love. At the sunrise, I opened up my eyes, and at the first light, to see the years of our lives painted across our faces, I want to capture every memory with you. <laughs> to find someone as special as you out of all the people in the world is one I've never imagined. You are forever my best friend and my true love. I vow to love you and be there for you by your side for the rest of my life. Christ must be the center of this relationship. First and foremost, nurture that relationship, the one between you and God. And so I challenge you to spend time in the Word, serve in church, give and give generously, and spread the good news of Jesus to everyone that you come in contact with. Follow these simple instructions and you will have a lifelong, happy marriage. This is for Mark and Katrina, and this is the special event to Mark and Katrina. We celebrate your wedding that today and continue to celebrate your marriage bring forward. I wish you all the best and pray that God will guide you and give you wisdom. Good, good.